right now we are going to uh, go to California. Dean Roblado, a uh, Catholic artist, joins us from Merced to talk about his work. And uh, first, uh, thanks so much for being with us, Dean. Thank you, guys, and good morning, Father Reed and Kevin. And, uh, Father, I just wanted to tell you right off the bat, congratulations on 10 years of This is the Day. And I understand Jay is out of town today, and I really wanted to wish him personally a, a happy 50th birthday. I myself turned 51 on my last birthday, and I just wanted to assure Jay everything's going to be okay from here on out. He'll be all right. <laughs> we'll let him know. We'll pass along your greetings. And uh, as far as you, Dean, you look marvelous. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you. Dean, if you could uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your work as a Catholic artist. Oh, sure. Well, thank you for having me on. Well, you know, I've always been drawing since I was a young guy, and I still remember I still have the original profile drawings of my grandparents. My family, we would go visit them down south in Santa Barbara, and I still have those original profile drawings of my grandma and grandpa, and they're a little bit better than caricature drawings, you know, just a little bit, but for a young guy, they weren't too bad, actually. They weren't too bad. Uh, but it wasn't until about 1998-99 that I began drawing Catholic art in earnest. Uh, in fact, I can still remember the day I began my very first piece, The Day of Salvation, which I think you're showing some of the uh, pieces on the screen now, is the black and white drawing of Jesus on the cross. This is my very first piece, and it's the crucifix, actually, in our local parish here in Merced, California, St. Patrick's, and it's based on that crucifix. I would go in to the church after morning mass and stand in front of it for a couple of hours at a time and sketch it out just little by little. And what a great way to meditate upon the cross as I was drawing. It just gave me that opportunity to meditate upon Jesus on the cross. And from there I just began to do another drawing and another drawing. Uh, another one that you may be showing is the black and white pieta, the black and white pieta drawing. That one is actually based on the pieta statue that is at St. Patrick's in New York City. I was there about 10, 12 years ago, and as an artist, of course, I'm going into a church, St. Patrick's in New York, I came across that statue, took some pictures of it and brought it home, and I just knew I, that was one subject that I had to draw and capture uh, in art. So that was another one that I loved doing. And then from there, I began doing color drawings, which are pretty much done in Prismacolor pencil, the color drawings that you see, the Marion drawings, the originals are all about 18 by 24 in size. They generally take about two to three months to complete, depending on the complexity and what may be happening in my life. And in many ways, my Catholic artwork reflects my own faith journey. There have been times, I think, as Catholics, we can all relate to having periods of time when we wandered away. You know, we've, we, we've maybe doubted our faith or we've had... Uh, periods of suffering in our lives. And uh, when I do drawings such as the Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane as the close-up of his face and deep, intense prayer, um, those were times in my life when I was going through the same thing, some times of deep, intense prayer. Which reminds me, Dean, of the, just the word evangelization, which is a word that, that we use a lot today, and the new evangelization that we've been called to. Does your work in artistic media lend itself to just that, to evangelization? Oh, most definitely. You know, it's amazing when you look at some of the uh, first images found on, for instance, Roman sarcophagi over there in Rome from the 3rd and 4th century. Images such as the Good Shepherd or the Virgin and Child. And you carry that through the Renaissance period with Michelangelo, Raphael, and up to contemporary times. And what do you find? You find that they all tell the story of the Gospel in one way or another. Um, one of the best quotes that I love is from Blessed soon to be St. John Paul II, in his letter to artists in 1999, I think he said it best in his letter to artists. He said, in order to communicate the message entrusted to her by Christ, the Church needs art. Art has the unique capacity to take one or other facet of the message and translate it into colors, shapes, and sounds which nourish the intuition of those who look and listen. So I think art, in many forms, whether it be print, poetry, music, when we go to Mass, all of these combine together because what is ultimately is the purpose of it is to lift our hearts and our minds closer in prayer to God. So yes, definitely it lends itself to evangelization. And, sure. and you've contributed some artistry to our good friend Lisa uh, Hendy's CatholicMom.com website, haven't you? 
I sure have. Actually, I met Lisa a few years ago. Um, she is actually just right down the road from me. Lisa lives in Fresno, California, which when you go through the Central Valley of California, you have many small towns right along the road there. And Fresno is a big, big city in the middle of uh, agricultural California. And so I came across Lisa's website, got in touch with her, and actually was a contributor on her website where she allowed me to show some of the art and, and put some reflections on some of the pieces. She's got a great website, catholicmom.com, great resource for Catholic moms with daily reflections, projects, information for books for children, great, great website that she's got at uh, catholicmom.com. Well, Dean, uh, I've been abandoned here in the living room. Uh, Kevin has gone over to the news desk, and so we're getting ready to go to news. And, but we want to thank you before we let you go uh, for taking the time to be with us. Uh, wish I was there in California, but we're enjoying some beautiful weather here in the Northeast, too. Fantastic, Father. I can't wait to get over to Boston sometime. Thank you for having me part of the Catholic TV network. And thanks for taking your time to be with us here in the Catholic TV living room. Have a great day. God bless. God bless. You okay. too, Father. All right. Bye, Dean. Bye-bye.